Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I buy products. I know that may come to a surprise to many of you. Oh, I thought companies send you products. Well, sometimes they do, and I tell you when those companies do, but sometimes uh, I have to buy products for myself, and I'm fine with that because it you know, means that I've invested my hard-earned money into something that I believe is going to be worth my money. And I got to tell you, that has been the case with my Bose headphones. I've worn them before. People have asked about them before, and they are wonderful. They are the QC3s. Uh, they are noise-canceling headphones. And, you know, before you ask too many questions in this particular video, this is being done in relation to an article that uh, Creighton has written on LockerGnome.com, uh, the article that's linked somewhere in the show notes, or you can just go to LockerGnome.com and, you know, find it there, today at least, uh, why noise-canceling headphones work so well. And he's gone in, in great detail, really, to explain what noise-canceling is, and why it's valuable. Okay, so a high level overview for those who are thinking TLDR, too long didn't read, not TLDR, the Locker Gnome Daily Report. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, there are different types of noise canceling uh, headphones, active and passive. And the type that I have, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the, the one that I have, the QC3s are active and they can effectively block out about 70% of the noise that I don't need to hear to optimize the noise, or I guess the sound, that I do want to hear. And it, it, he, Creighton goes in and explains how the waveform works because you've got to think about, you know, sound is sound wave, not sound wave from Transformers. You remember he talked like this in a monotone voice and then he had cartridges that ejected from... Remember cartridges? That kind of dates me. Just a bit. Uh, so, uh, as, as he notes, uh, and, and I'm just reading a, a brief uh, passage from the article, active noise-canceling headphones do everything that passive ones do, but have the added ability to actively silence low-end sounds. So, the, they effectively make their own sound waves themselves to counterbalance the sound that's coming from outside the headphones. So, you're, you, you've got this chamber of, of, of sound that are, that's basically capped over uh, your ears. And uh, I love noise-canceling headphones. I, yes, I, I do choose the, the type that require battery, the, the active type, uh, because it's, to me it's higher quality. Though some sound engineers will say, well, I don't like that type of noise-canceling because it, it clips the sound and it's not a true sound. Well, you know, when I'm on an airplane uh, or in an environment where I just want to shut everything out, I need something that is going to better optimize the time inside my head. And I find that this is, if I leave, my noise canceling headphones at home, I'm frustrated. I do not like earbuds. I don't like sticking things in my ear. They always seem to get uncomfortable. And even when, because I wear glasses, uh, even when I, the earbuds are fine without my glasses, but when I put the noise canceling headphones over my ears, uh, the, the pressure applied, I have to lift my glasses up above my ears or my outer ears uh, to uh, my outer ear. You know, this thing right here, the card. Hey, is your earlobe attached or detached? Did you realize that was like a genetic thing? You know, if your parents, they have their earlobes attached, yours could be attached too. Things you learn in the fifth grade that you remember randomly when you were recording a video about noise-canceling headphones. If you were looking for a recommendation, should I get noise-canceling headphones? My answer is yes. We've explained why even further if my explanation didn't do you any good. And if you were looking for a personal recommendation from me, I bought, with my own money, years ago, uh, the Bose QC3s. We've got a link for that uh, in, in the article, and we can potentially put it in the show notes. I think I can short link it for you. Go.tagjag.com slash QC3. I love them. And a trip is just not a trip unless I have those with me. And I, I can't be the only one uh, who, who loves them. Let's see what the people who are watching the live uh, YouTube video say. I don't need noise canceling. It isn't selective hearing. Isn't selective hearing good enough, says... Fun to man. Ooh, someone who apparently uh, has been around other people that have, have you know, I can't shut people out. I, I, I just take everything in. That's my problem. Uh, Chris, can you talk about? No, I can't. Uh, it's awesome, says Noi. Thank you, Noi. Is Studio Beats good? Uh, it asks, this is Hose Taguchi0227 asks about the Beats, uh, and I believe by Dre. Uh, I had them for a while, they, and you might remember the video I recorded on them. Uh, I wasn't very happy with them. They, I, I didn't think they were as good as people claimed they were. 
you know, they did send them, send them on review, so I didn't put my money down, and I, I probably uh, wouldn't. I mean, they worked well enough. I ended up giving them uh, away to Cat a while ago, and I think they eventually broke. Uh, so I, uh, you might like them because you like the, the logo, but I think they're kind of big. I need something that's slim and that works well, and the QC3s make me just happy. Again, that's not a paid endorsement. That is my personal thing, uh, perspective thing. My thing is just such an amazing word. You can use the thing. Here, here's a thing. You want to know another thing? Here's another thing. Oh, and look. <laughs> okay, it's time to stop this video.